The National Weather Service confirmed two tornadoes just before Thanksgiving, one in South Fulton County. A tornado obviously came through here. One in Coweta County. We felt the house shake, but upstairs we didn't feel the roof coming off. Severe Weather Team 2 tracked the storms for hours. Remember I told you they could spin up along the leading edge here, so Palmetto take cover immediately. It's six minutes away from you. The earlier we can give the warning and the better, more specific warning we can give, the safer we know that you and your family will be. And so we work extremely hard during severe weather events, but in the months preceding that, to fine tune our skills and, and get the best technology and tools that are available. Okay, okay, we'll do a bit. In 2011, Channel 2 became the first station in Georgia and one of just two in the country to install dual pole Doppler radar. It's the most advanced Doppler radar in the world. It's going to completely change the way we cover and track severe thunderstorms. What are the big advantages we have now over what we had when we were dealing with severe weather outbreaks in the past is the live dual pole Doppler radar. We're the only station in the area that has that. The reason it's important, we can see not only where it's raining very heavily, we can see inside the storm where there's rotation, but we can also detect the size and shape of whatever the radar is bouncing off of. And that allows us to see lofted debris. When a tornado touches down, we get that lofted debris signature. We can show folks and warn you. Many of us think tornadoes are primarily a springtime threat. Debris funnel on the ground. But meteorologists say El Nino changes that. During the last couple of El Ninos that were strong, we've seen tornadoes develop in December and we've seen them evolve in January as well. I think one year we had eight tornadoes in January and you may remember the Adairsville tornado that occurred just a few years ago. So they do occur in the winter months with more frequency though with during an El Nino year. And this specific threat may outlast winter. That's what I'm really scared of when we head into the spring months. We're going to see, I think, strong and severe thunderstorms, storms that are going to produce tornadoes in abundance across the southeast. That's been historic throughout any type of El Nino event that we've seen. No matter if we've seen one inch of snow and heavy rain in the winter, heavy rains and, and a lot of snow, the end result in the spring is severe storms. Rain, snow, ice, tornadoes. At this point, no one can say exactly what impact El Nino will have on Georgia. It's, it's kind of frightening thinking about it, but uh, having lived through it, we know that you can survive it. You just have to be prepared for it. And so that's what we're trying to do this year.